Allie. She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? I got her to scream. We met Allison De Laurentiis, not under the best circumstances. She'd been missing for over a year. You know, we're unsure of how all this took place because I went to sleep one night and woke up and she wasn't there. We really don't know what happened to her and then we find the body. You know, at that point they think that she's dead and then they start receiving messages from A. So at this point they're like, is Allison really dead? Could it be Allison? Could it not be? There's so many questions. It's just that unresolved mystery of what really happened. Who is Red Coat? Could it be Allison? Did Allison start the fire? Did Allison pull us out? Is Allison alive? And that really is the big question of season four. And we started to introduce moments where we saw that Allison was being tormented and stalked as well. There's somebody out there. And something was going on in her life that was a secret the girls knew nothing about, where she may have been hounded by an A figure for the last six, seven, eight months of her life. They were just these girls going into their sophomore year, ready for high school, and then all of a sudden, their best friend dies, and they think it's a tragedy, but then as more and more time passes, they see that she was leading a completely different life and leading them into it. And in second season, the girls start to see who they think is Allison. They'll catch glimpses of blonde hair. They'll see her face in a crowd. There's been a lot of flashbacks, and you've kind of been able to piece together some of Allison's history. Who's Vivian Darkbloom? I'm pretending to be someone else. I brought you a present back from my trip. It's beautiful. It's vintage. My grandma gave it to me. It's these little puzzle pieces that, in the end, will complete the final picture. In the flashbacks, she's sort of larger than life, Allison, because whoever's having the flashback, that's how that person remembers her. In the third season, after her body was stolen from the grave and a red-coated person was watching, it became apparent that this was much deeper mystery going on. And if, in fact, Allison could be alive, who would be in her grave? So you realize that, okay, there's more to this A thing. There's more of a danger level here. There's someone that's controlling everything that goes on and kind of sees everything that's going on. The deeper we go into finding out who Red Coat is, the scarier it is. Is Allison a part of the A-team? Is she Red Co? You know, I think like all the fans, that's what a lot of the assumptions have been. Or is she trying to help us steer clear of A and, and the whole team? All of our sightings of Allison generally have been passed off as dreams up until the season three finale in which we all see her. In the season finale, you saw a blonde girl in a red coat getting out of a plane. Allison, in the summer before she disappeared, she learned how to fly. It could very well be Allison. There's an Allison mask that was introduced at the Halloween episode last year. And this mask clearly looks like her. And there's some wonderful mythology we're going to get into this season where you find out where that mask comes from and if, in fact, it was Allison's face when she was alive or dead. You find out who some of these people are behind these masks. It's going to be a real shocker to a lot of people. When we broke season four, we really decided, like, this is the season for answers. So in season four, you will find out if Allison is dead or alive. You will find out once and for all if Allison is red coat or is red coat somebody wearing the alley mask and a blonde wig. We're ramping up to this great place of giving the audience the answers to questions they've been asking us since the pilot. I don't know how the writers do it. They just keep on amping it up and amping it up and new storylines and new interesting characters that all have a piece in this crazy puzzle. We pay homage to the books, but we have our own storytelling here as well and our own mythology. So we've deviated before and we'll continue to. A lot of juicy stuff as usual.